I think they have a lot of sustain with Warlock, Huskar, Abba as well. This is Radiance build one more time. But you also have a Photic Shield to play off the Snowball, Stuns, Visage, Searing Chains as well. I think TSM is like, this, it's going to be flipped one, I would say. Because Bob this time around, he's going to be the one suffering. He yeah. did dominate the matchup in the previous one. This time around, difficult matchup for him. Don't expect him to win it. So this is going 1-1. Another 1-1 for our group stage. I'll yeah, you don't even... Just can pull it out. Uh, uh, they do have, like, if they snowball, uh, no pun intended, they have Tusk on the team. But hey. this Luna, Ember Spirit, Visage, a bit limited on tower damage. They need to, like, take a fight. Sure, you get Lunar Blessing, but they don't have that one hero that's just going to, like, siege. Also want to see what Palos is going to build. You want to aim for a BKB later down the line. You also want to have like a Deso, but looking at what he's playing into against the BKB, you have Roar, you have Vorlock Golem, so things are not going to be easy. And I want to go, okay, I'll hold that thought. Yeah, there's a fight top. Nah, nah, they're not going to, I'm going to get bogged down in that. What's your thought? Because you were talking about Warlock and how his goods, how spells that he have are so good. I think the same thinking can be applied to Grimstroke. All of his abilities are so good, you want to max them out, but the hero is really not yeah. playable at the moment. It's just something awkward with the hero, either the numbers are too low, or it feels like very sluggish to play. The way they move, the way they attack, it just doesn't feel natural, at least Warlock for me. Grimstroke, I've seen some... Grim in China looked okay-ish, but still, like, you want to put points in Phantom, into your Inkswell as well. You want to push out the way with your Q. Same goes for Warlock. All of his abilities, like, yeah, I want to put more points in Upheaval, but I also want to have Shadow Ward and Fatal Bond. Exactly. Yeah, I think uh, it can definitely be said that we've had this thing in Dota for the past two years where level two feels like the most important level in, like, the first ten minutes of the game. Yes. Like, for forget about level sixes. It's like level two, this is where we make... The most important action happened in our lanes. And I, I feel like that story you're telling is pretty indicative of Warlock's story as well. He wants level three. Level two is kind of whatever. Level three is where he starts to shine. And I guess Grimstroke is, is similar as well in that respect. You need to get past the... Get over the hump. Get past level three. Tomato tanking a lot of damage in that top lane. Another Both one's going to be lanes. available. That's first blood. Yeah, a lot of brawling going on. And Tino with a soul assumption level one just slaps down the Abaddon. Interesting item build on Tino. Blightstone, Mantle of Intelligence, and three Iron Branches. He wants to be able to get the kills. He understands that even though you're playing into Warlock Abaddon, Shield is there. There was no heal available. So they can put the pressure and they get level two faster. Tusk now saving a point. Let's see what Shanks decides to do. He's going to block the small camp top. So there's not going to be a pool available. Might even get a courier kill. Yeah, looks like he's going to do that. And Shank's item build as well. Looks like phase boots into Medallion. So we're seeing this Medallion become a rising star item in Dream League so far. Yeah. Good way Lights to amplify the damage visage. from Ember Visage as well. Over in that other side lane. Palos, nine last hits, but Be Beastmaster coming out on top there. Kasane having a much better early laning stage than he did on the Darkseer previously. Helped out tremendously by Ari. And doesn't feel like there's much that Carlo can do in comparative to the Undying where he's bullying and spamming Decay. Luna here throwing some Lucent Beams, but primarily just stacking and pulling. Well, of course, mid lane going on. Bryle against Bob. Oscar at 14-4. Ember doing a good job getting 10 last hits so far. And not being pressured tremendously. But now Huskar's level 3, level 4. This is where the lane becomes untenable. You're stacking camps. You're just trying to gather up whatever's left to you. Remember, you said doing a good job. 11 CS, not too bad considering the matchup that he's playing into. And now the top lane, Fatal Bonds. It looks much stronger than it actually is. An upheaval. The best ability in the game is just like you never get the chance to use it. Yeah, uh, I'm wondering. I've seen I've seen a couple of players 
like I, I keep tabs on warlock builds. It used to be Tinker <laughs> and Invoker builds, but now it's now it's warlock and dying. I want to make sure I'm buying the right items when I'm playing and skilling the correct skills. And I've seen I've seen a few skip Shadow Word and go for this kind of four zero four build because it gives you so much damage and tower diving potential, the ability to play from fog nicely as well. Look, he's got yeah, he's gone second point in upheaval. White Mon might just be completely skipping Shadow Word here. Who cares heals? I've got an Abaddon who's healing himself. I don't need to heal him as well. Just go for That's... damage and slow. Slow from upheaval, slow from Curse of the Avernus. Yeah. Let's see. Point is saved. Puts another point in tag team, but the shards. Uh, what are you going to do? 100 The upheaval! Speed. The upheaval! He's a slug! Where are you going, Tusk? Get back over here. <laughs> Whacked around by the sword of the Abaddon. Shield not going to pop, though. So Shank surviving. And another... Fatal bonds thrown onto the creep wave and the visage. And down at bottom, contest on the pull from Kasane. Carlo does get a range creep deny while Ari is making a rotation out of that bottom lane. Gathering up a water rune and maybe wandering in towards mid. I could look for a kill on the Amber Spirit pre level 6 here. But stacking is more important for Ari, it appears. Bob with three trouble. stacks. Does he have to be fine? Fire? But we'll okay, refill yeah. the bottle. Shanks need they need they understand the matchup. They need to play around him. He's got that level five. Let's see. Maybe if Brile overextends. They're gonna go for a play. Shanks. Ready with the ice shards. Two points in tag team could make a difference. Brile about to crack level six. But Shanks will go back to top. Yeah, Mosey is way back up there. Walks past the Abaddon Courier, realizing he can't kill it. Would have had to spend the shards, but he'd rather not. Well, down at bottom, Palos, very low HP. One more tap from the Kasane Beastmaster secures the kill. While well, back up top, the Visage, the Tusk are on top of Tomato. Bob has died in the mid lane to Brile, but Tomato dies up top. Three kills across three lanes. Three cores dead. Oh, upheaval. upheaval. Upheaval! Oh! Nah, Shanks is fine. He's just going to walk away. <laughs> It should be bigger than it actually is. The upheaval, for some reason, I feel like, you know, if you step outside, you should, like there should be some lingering damage oh. on top of you. And uh, oh, he dies yeah. the tower. He killed himself onto the tower. Things are looking not as good for Palos in terms of CS. He's CSing nicely, but Luna doesn't Tino. really provide you with much. There you go, and Tino. Tino has a TP. Ah, uh, the. The setbacks of having no stuns as a Warlock and an Abaddon. Just TP home and you're, you're safe and sound. But yeah, I think with Upheaval, it's one of those things like Jakira, Macropire, and Radiance. There's that lingering half a second where the debuff stays on you. So you walk out and then you walk back in. It's like reapplying. As we do lose Carlo, Palos dead, Tomato up top. Just action in every lane. They go back in on the Abaddon. And with this Tusk Visage lane, they're just crushing it. Tino grabbing his killing spree. White Mon trying to fight back here with a level 2 Fatal Bonds. I don't even know. Even with an upheaval there, he can't get a cross kill. But yeah, bottom lane what? not doing too well for Radiant, though, is it? Not really. Dawnbreaker. I mean, you're playing with Luna 5. It's something that they ran before. It took great success, but in terms of the laning stage, you really can't do much. And now, like, it's just like, oh, I'm going to... Use a Lucent Beam, but you're going to get and ran down, Wild Axes, get hit, yeah. die. This is five Dawnbreakers, so they might even go for him. Roar is available, but no creeps. So, Ari will drag the creep wave. I thought you were saying he's a position five Dawnbreaker. The, the poor carry, Lacosta's called him a support. No, no, no. Just we're level not five. in that territory yet. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how things progress, but Shanks up at top. Dived upon, but Snowball dodges the remnant in. Oh, no, it's his teammate coming in. I'm stupid. They'll turn on Tomato and kill him. Shanks. Don't trade his life for it. Well, White Mon just TPs the hell away from there. So Bob with his first rotation, grabbing a kill. And now thinking about moving into mid. Brile has armlet, so 800 health. Very tanky and with a tumbler's toy. Looking for a rune, but the spawn bottom. Solar Guardian in. Luna, Ember pairing up. And the trio gathering around that Huskar to get a big kill. Nice moves. They understand, like, they're moving across the map. Visage is now level 6. I don't think Abba can go back to the top lane. Might need to soak up some experience. He's level 4 at the moment. Warlock is about to be level 6. Oh, my God. <laughs> they're snowballing on him, though. 
White Mon has to deal with the familiars, the snowball, the tag team, and there's the damage. Soul Assumption finishes the job. He Oh, Visage is bonded up. It looks like he's going to just slip away from the grasp of Abaddon. Tomato trying to defend his top tier one for now. Action-packed first 10 minutes, though. These side lanes have been a bloodbath. And it looks like Bryle and Kasane now moving out of the lanes to try and farm up some of these ancients and camps they've stacked for themselves. Tomato in trouble again. Luna. Oh, no. She's pinging it out. Tomato needs to run away. Also, recovery Midas. This is going to be some really bad timing on Radiance. He's still no, level no, 5. not again. He has no borrowed time. Tomato just dead again. Whitemon, he throws the upheaval down. It's level 3 and uh, slows them a tremendous amount. Carlos pinging himself saying, I can't move. There's no damage forthcoming from TSM. I said during the draft that Tomato's not going to be the real carry in this game. It's going to be more about Brile, how much he's going to be able to do. Use a Photic Shield on top of him. Play around Brile. He's the most farm hero on the map right now. Doing really good. Almost 5,000 net worth on Huskar. Level 9 going into BKB straight. I've seen mid Huskars get like Sanj, maybe even Havens Halberd as a second yeah. item to amplify the healing, be more tanky, get that status resistance going. But this time he's not messing around. He wants to be able to pump out that damage. Understands Carlo. that the other lanes didn't go too well. Rocks dropped on the Luna, but that. Loosen Beam Eclipse clears out Ari. Shang is going to go for the TP home. Life break damage. They kill off Shanks. Meanwhile, Bob has killed Tomado. It's hard to keep the track on what's going on every single lane. There is some <laughs> kind of a kill happening. I was looking at the mid lane. Warlock dominating the fight. Level 6 because he soaked up so much of that XP top. Tibato died multiple times. And he died 6 times in 10 minutes. Whew. Yeah, that doesn't feel good. Yeah, that recovery Midas you mentioned is still quite distant. Needs some pickup time to get back in action. What do you mean? He does have a component. Half of the component's done. <laughs> <laughs> Half the item's done, yeah? Because he has one of two components. Oh, exactly. Such an optimist. Gotta stay positive. Man, this up here is such a great spell. Look at it. Yeah, you can't push tower. I mean, it's very good against Ember as well. He walks into upheaval and he can't really remnant anymore. Remnant's become so slow. Snowball from Shanks, though, closes the gap on the Rubik. Familiars fly over. The stolen slide buys a little time for Ari. But in the end, his demise... Met with a slap from Execration as they look to invade the Ancients. Fortunately for TSM, they've cleared it out already. While Kasane, he's roaring and looking to solo kill Palos. Gets off the Starbreaker, but can't survive. The Helm is there with a big old <laughs> troll creep. Now Bob is in again with a snowball. They back up. Straight onto the Beastmaster. And Kasane, surrounded, will die. And then back to mid, right? We're going to get a kill on Tino? No. No, we're good. A bit too aggressive play from Palos. He is the real carry. He, he, like, he m tried to square up, fight against Beastmaster. He even goes back, dies in the end. How's that Midas looking? Tomato, four points in Curse of Avernus. Trying to farm up as much as he can. Still, thousand gold surely. away. Whew. Two towers <clears throat> already gone. Execration. We'll start to dish out. Even more tower damage. Luna. Only two points in Lunar Blessing at the moment. During the nighttime, it is global. But Bob, looking for something. Yeah, looking for smoke break. Finds it on Rubik. And the Eclipse takes him down. White Mon slowing Bob. And they're trying to catch up. Huskar's coming across. Tumble toy to the high ground. Life break onto Bob, but look what he's got. Safety remnant all the way back at a large camp that's stacked for him. Yeah, TSM, a lot of catching up to do. We do we do still have this period, like you said, with Huskar closing in on BKB. A thousand gold away from it. Once he hits that, he becomes the strongest beast on the map. But Execration are doing a, a tremendous job chasing them around the map. Making sure they don't have that breathing room. And no easy farming time. Like Kasane down bottom. Thinking he's got a safe route to push tier one bot. Gets caught out by three heroes. Wow, Luna nice Tusk, hurricane. Snowball in. The rock is dropped. They kill the Tusk. Kasane still dies to the final. Bit of damage out of that Lucent Beam. But Carlo, 
bonded up with Palos and Bob, and this Warlock with the upheaval. Oh, White Mon, is he doing it? Hit into Bob, look for the damage. Palos barely scraping away with his life, but Brawl's coming from the northern side. The dive should arrive, and Palos TPing home. He's away from there. Ooh, surviving so close. on very low hit points. I don't know, Gary. I think uh, uh, Warlock might be the best hero in the game, or White Mon <laughs> might be the best player. So far, it looked so good. And I love the no shadow word build, 404. Because I'm telling before, you. Before, it was always about, oh, th this is kind of a my thing. If you put more than two points in shadow word, you don't, yeah. you should not supposed to play Warlock, play a different hero. But then with the addition of the shard, things kind of changed. But now the other spells also got buffed, especially upheaval. So you want to max it out. And it looks really good. Yeah, especially with the talents. Now you have a 10 talent with that radius. It's, it's radius, it's not uh, not diameter. So it's 75 on both sides of the circle. You get these Thanks massive upheavals. Up. I do like a bit of geometry. Yeah, I, lo I love circles. You should know this about me. I do like circles in Dota. They make the game simple. You throw some circles on the ground, they win you games. Black yeah, hole's you... a circle, Ravage is a circle, upheaval's a circle. You watch Olympic Games, you drive Audi <laughs> with all those circles. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Or eat the donuts. <laughs> Cheerios for breakfast, donuts for lunch. What's a, what's a dinner item that's a circle? <laughs> pizza, pizza, of course. Pizza. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Anything is a circle if you're hungry enough. I think a burger <laughs> is a circle. Yeah, you're not wrong. Upon a loyal warrior. Yeah, I do love a bit of circle. Awesome. Palos, three deaths to his name. Not having as bad a time as the Abaddon, but currently being hunted. Fortunately for Axe Creation, he's going to skirt away from any of the vision that TSM were trying to place down. And they've changed their angle of attack to aim for Tino instead. Stolen Lucent Beam into the life break will secure the kill on him and a big streak to be taken as well. That's 500 gold for Brile and a couple hundred to the rest of his team. Bottom lane though, Kasane being jumped upon. Solar Guardian's going to come. And this is all set up by the Tusk and the Ember Spirit. And again, one side of the map is being invaded. The aggressive move from TSM. Execration say, okay, we'll copy you. We'll move down here and do exactly the same thing to your offlaner. TSM understands they just showed three heroes bottom. There is no Solar Guardian, so they're going to use this. Go inside Roche, but Tino trying to maneuver. Maybe he gets like a last hit. Maybe they try to get a steal. Double damage is here. Carlo, well, he should pick it up or at least... Ryle, well, he's denied. in. The golem's on him. Luna's dead. Shanks went forward with a snowball, but a life break from Brawl and his BKB up means he is unstoppable. Now the lift. They've got control, but Bob jumps away. Remnants out of there as Roshan stays at half HP, gets pinged out by Brawl again. They've killed two heroes off. I'm not sure if Execration can mount a defense of this. It should just be an Aegis for the Huskar. This Roshan belongs to TSM. Brile will pick it up and going into Aghanim Scepter straight away. Wants to be able, because they do lack a little bit of control, I would say. So you can lock down this Ember Spirit, kill him immediately. If there's no Rubik, if there's no Beastmaster. Kasane, he's been mostly sitting in the bottom lane, just trying to farm up, get his items online, sitting in the middle of the pack right now. But as we said, Brile, he's the real carry in this game. Paulo's trying to farm up, get this Radiance going. How's Abba looking? Like, it's still going to be a decent timing for Abba's Radiance compared to what Palace got as well. Because he died mm. three times as well. Yeah. Yeah, still pretty close in the net worth. But man, the first thing that happened after that fight ended, Carlo spam pinged Warlock is missing. It's just such an irritating thing to play around that Roche Pit in particular. You put down the upheaval, you can't... There's no point of ingress. You can't attack unless your Ember Spirit just remnants into the pit. You're so goddamn slow. Couple of tier two neutral items now flowing into both teams. Grove bow, not particularly good on on radiant. We'll see who it goes to. And of course, currently Dino is the one holding the filly. Mm. So we'll get the item. I would maybe prefer if Shanks gets it, just so that he can farm a blink dagger, and then he can save whoever gets jumped by Huskar's Agadim scepter. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point because you have that. Uh... A taunt kind of thing, right? Forcing you to attack him for a few seconds. Well, Brile under Invis does have his BKB back up and three minutes left on Aegis. Considering the move there. 
A hawk spots Shank's bottom. And they know Bob was coming, so this is a bait from TSM, putting Kasana in harm's way. Trying to fight around the Beastmaster with the Roar and Bra's arrival, they'll kill off the Tusk, and looks like Palos as well! Down they go, perfectly sprung trap from TSM. They're still at tier 1 tower. They thought they could outnumber them with the Solar Guardian. Oh, he gets it! Bob gets the kill. Ryle will give him a tip for it. And he just Nicely gone. done. Gotta slow them down a bit. Yeah, and that's that that's that little turnaround, right? We talked about the Ember Spirit in lane doing doing very poorly against the Huskar, but as the game develops, you do have this poke and prod ability to maybe dance around the Huskar a little bit. And going Lincoln's next on Bob as well to protect himself against the life break. Instant Invasion. Rubik, Roar as well. It's a very defensive item. Ooh, Tomato. They can get a stun to... with the bird. They do, and now the Eclipse over the top. They'll kill him off. Yeah, forcing an early borrowed time. Good invasion into that top jungle under their own vision. Thanks to Creation saw everything that was happening. It's the They're same damaged. situation again, right? They, they play bottom, they lose heroes bottom, then they play top. They find a kill. They're just trading kill for kill. 17 to 16, not much in it. Execration damage is nuts. If they, if Brile misuses his BKB, there is no rock to save him. Like, they're just going to burst him with Visage, Summon Familiars, Luna, Aura. Everybody gets extra damage. Tag team with the physical damage. Just like Medallion on top of Brile. This Huskar is not unkillable by any means, even though he's on top of the network by significant margin, 2k gold ahead of the second farm, most farm hero in the game, but he can still easily be killed. And now Execration, they do a trade, they kill the tier 2 tower, they take the outpost. Oh, but Bryl is in on the tusk. Aghanim Scepter going to work, he has to BKB though. It looked like the Tusk might have been able to get a punch off or something there, but not able to get the job done. And now a roar onto Bob. Brile opens up. Solar Guardian saves. The heal comes onto Bob. He stands his ground. Slight of fist. Kills off Brile. And now Kasani's in trouble. Fatal Bonds with the upheaval, though. White Mon. He's standing there. Slowing oh them. my and god. And he's trying to turn off the Tino. The Visage is falling. The Bonds. There's lines everywhere. Damage spread across every member of Execration while Bob is out of there with his remnants. Ari still wants to chase. Celestial Hammer into a, into a what? There's no telekinesis, so they wouldn't have had a stun to stop his TP. Man, Fatal Bonds. This spell looks so cool. It looks like... It looks stronger than it actually is. And once you get bonded with three or four... And this is what we talked about. Huskar goes in. He was kind of forced to use a BKB to get a kill on Tusk. Because if he turned around with the Snowball Punch Ice Shards, he can solo kill him. So... Doesn't have a BKB for the next fight, and good Solar Guardian from Dawnbreaker gets on top of him, and they burst him. Also, Bob did survive in the previous one. Considering how poorly his lane went, Bob doing a really good job keeping himself in the game. Just a thousand gold, less than a thousand gold away from Lincoln Sphere, so that's going to be a good defense tool against both Instant Lift from Rubik, mostly Huskar. He also got roared yeah. in the previous fight, so that's going to come in handy. Yeah, super nice to have. Might even might even be able to put it on his Dawnbreaker or something as well if Palos is the one frontlining. Chuck it onto Palos. Stay in the fog as the Ember Spirit. You've got multiple uses out of the Lincolns. Yeah, we're getting closer to Tusk Blink as well. Another tool of defense you mentioned Execration will have in the upcoming fights. And two and a half minutes to wait at least for the next Roshan. So we'll start to see these teams you know, gather up forces, get their wards down, and start to plant vision around the pit. What's Broil up to? Satanic coming next after he's finished his Ags. Well, Shanks, yeah, gets a bit of farm priority heading into that blink. And Bob just clearing out that mid wave. Make sure TSM are pushed across the river on the dire side. Next big item, Palos going into BKB after picking up the shard. So we'll have like multiple instances of magic immunity. Even though you are playing into Roar, you are playing into Rock. Same goes for life break as well. So BKB Brile. still got oh needs to be careful. Let's he does. See. Let's see the and toggle. Grove bow. Bob, slight chains. Brile, does he have to just BKB here? Because the birds are coming. 
in a fire, pushes them back, Snowball in, BKB up, Brawl turns, life breaks in onto Palos, they've got the Roar as well, and the Dawnbreaker dies, Brawl stays alive, turns onto Tino, but he's turned to stone, the Gargoyle. He's healing himself up while Bob is trying to chip away at them with a slight of fist. But a double kill for Whitemon comes with the fatal bonds and TSM kill off three members of Execration. These that fatal bonds doing so lift. much. Ari lifted Tusk, so no punch came for Brawl. Not sure if it would be enough to actually burst them, but still great play from Ari. And now they're off, probably off to a high ground even. Tier 2 tower is going to die. Pipe done help of the overlord as well no bkb available on huskar but with some help from the back lines white one will use that shadow word on him spooky though pipe. like this slight of fist with the grove bow he throws some loosened beams on the huskar taking quite a lot of damage and bob is hunting forces the greaves out of ari look at what spawned up at top dd rune is there ready to be grabbed it's pinged out by TSM. Brile facing off against Tino, squaring up on the Visage, but the Solar Guardian and the Chain Disables, they've got the catch onto the Huskar and they kill him. Snowball in now, he's going to find White Mod punched into oblivion. TSM, they wandered on very casually through the Ancients area, thinking oh, they were in control, respawn. and Bob kills Kasane. Four down, Abaddon the only one living, and Roche is up in 40 seconds. Oh, if this Roche aren't respawn immediately, this is the second Roche taking... Roche also from Huskar lineup. A bit too deep. Every single time Huskar does not have a BKB, Execration makes a play. And it seems like TSM gets surprised by Solar Guardian, same as I do. I'm like, oh, it's a global ability. So he came in, lands a stun. I think Tino has been the shining star of this particular game on the Visage. He dominated the lane. He's setting things up on the side lanes. Like so many times on a bad and playing with the Tusk. Now Bob. Also looking for something on a mid lane. Roshan about to... I, I think they just take Roshan. If Shanks is inside the pit, they can immediately kill Roshan with four points in tag team, medallion, and the yeah. birds. It's also nighttime. Uh, TSM, they can't contest this. No, no, they're not near enough by. Roshan's going to die far too quickly. And that last fight was a 4k net worth swing. Dropping the lead from TSM down to 2,000, and it'll go even lower uh, with that Roshan. Shard? Grab. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Shanks will pick it up. Let's see if they decide uh, to give it. I mean, you Ember already bought one for himself, so he doesn't want it. Same goes for yeah, Visage, Dawnbreaker as well. I guess he takes it. Shard that amplifies shards. shards. <laughs> the shard shard. Yeah, that last fight, Ember Spirit got like a thousand gold, so he's already well on his way to BKB. He was considering his options. I think I saw Bob had like Aghanims queued up, thought about Shivers, thought about BKB. Going for the safest option in that magic community. Need something to dispel off the Fatal Bonds. Now he At probably regrets least. it. That invested 1400 gold into Shard. Because he could have picked it up for free. Would push yeah. him closer to BKB. Now sitting on 2.4k gold. Might still swap things around. The Shiva's Guard option also seems like a cool one. You're playing into all this healing. You're playing into Huskar as well. Bob, pinging it out, wants to make something happen there. Goes back to bottom, and it seems like they know exactly where they are. Rest of the team, rest of the TSM behind Brile, who's slowly siege. It needs to be super careful. They've shown time and time again throughout this whole game that he can be bursted. Man, very important. I play on Division right now. And TSM have the advantage of this Hawk, which Kasane is putting forward right next to that Tier 2 tower. As Execration, they roar up the Dawnbreaker, but the Snowball save, the Golem dropped, Kasane on the run, healed up by Tomato, turn around with the Fatal Bonds and the Aegis already claimed up. Brile fighting 1v1 on the Luna, but Carlo's winning that fight. The Luna nearly takes down Brile, but the Huskar can stand tall, shred into Tino now, and Execration, they've lost four. Tomato was too hard a nut to crack. Oh no, Didn't he even got him as well. Time, and they got the Dawnbreaker with a life break taunt. Five down, a wipe as TSM just clear the floor. I want to see damage now. Died. 6.7k from Huskar. The second one is 5.7 from Warlock. Fatal Bonds, they have no dispel. 
there is nothing to keep them alive, so he gets the Fatal Bonds, he gets the upheaval in that fight. Man, he's been playing this Warlock amazingly throughout the game. Holding on to Eye of the Seer. Yeah, this game might actually just end. It might. I mean, look at this Golem go. He's got drums, he's got Inner Beast, the Golem is just destroying towers. Barracks are open now for a second lane as TSM eyes on winning game two. Even moving down bottom. 18 seconds remain on that clock for Dawnbreaker. Let's see what Bob and Tino can do. Frontlining now with Shang snowballing in. Trying to catch Tomato and Brile, but spreading damage across two targets is not ideal. The Execration will lose their tusk. Now the life break in. Brile dives deep, finds the Visage. Bob will chains him up, and Brile so powerful. The Huskar just heals himself up. Now might die, though, as the Dawnbreaker has respawned. One lane of barracks stands between Execration and Mega Creeps, and Bob wants to keep it that way. Diving in onto the Beastmaster and Rubik. Ari and Kasane. On the run now as TSM scatter to the wind. Execration need a little more, but they're not going to find it. Everybody oh, no, else will TP home while Kasane, <laughs> the creep, one range creep. Not he like this. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, range creep. Tries to lifesteal up, but Palos and Carlo will finally bring him to the floor. Gem on the floor as well. As Execration yeah, lose two full lanes. Buyback from Bob to get like to keep them in the game a bit too deep from Huskar I would say that he went in madman mode gets the satanic off they can still kill him no oh, double damage spawned Carlo is pinging it out and I spoke about the spell mechanics Luna trying to go for a Lotus there are BKBs available as well but let's see it's gonna be Paulus who's gonna pick up that DD I'm not sure if they can do much with it Looking for a fight, Solar Guardian on cooldown. Bob also playing on a different side of the map at, at the moment. Yeah, it's just like, this this upheaval spell, man, it is just something else. And so much of Dota is about experience and knowing your limits and how far you can push them. And upheaval is just, it's, it's just a demilitarized zone. You're not allowed to do anything <laughs> here, you know? Complete zone, oh, whoa, the life break, blink back. Tusk drags Brile in deep, but I don't know if they can fight him. Tino and Bob are trying, wearing out the BKB, the Walrus Punch, and maybe some chain stuns with the Solar Guardian onto Brile. The Golems drop, though, and the heels are there. But Huskar, with a backup of the Roar, he stands and fights. Satanic's up, and he's ready to go back in again. Visage caught out with a life break, and Execration just being pulled apart, hero by hero, as TSM stamp their mark on this game. Yeah, this is why we said that Brile's a real carry in this game even though tomato took over in terms of farm he's the most farm hero in the game right now very difficult like they can't kill him they don't have the break mechanic plus the silence combination you're also like have manta style as well so right now tomato just enjoying himself considering how things went in the laning stage he was sitting at six deaths and he wants yeah. to get out of this game he's fully jacked Ooh. ac done what is Brian looking for What's his well, next he, item? He life break the Ember and was following him, but the life break hit before the Remnant landed, so he, he didn't actually get the life break to land. Bob surviving barely by the skin of his teeth. Trying to cut waves now, top and middle. But you see TSM swiftly moving into that final building. A one Very good attack ranks. speed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Assault Kuransk with that Curse of Avernus very quickly. Dispatching with the barracks. Oh, now Execration up against Megas. At this point, TSM could even think about waiting for the next Roche. If Execration come out of their base to fight, they'll of course take it. And they'll see with that lane ward top, both the Dawnbreaker and the Tusk are moving there. So if they can get on top of Bob and Ari trying, thinking about popping the Lincolns and making a move, Royal can't get there fast enough. Split pushing Just for now. Palos on the top lane. Also going into Lincoln's here. Like right now, I think they're gonna lack damage. Shanks trying to farm his Aghanim Scepter. That's the big one. This is how you come back into the game, especially when you're playing against Megas. There are no buildings left to kill. There's tier four towers, so they get close. You kick them into the fountain. Still far away. This is very difficult. Well, Task Bob? ask 2,000 gold, 
How do you farm it with Tusk? I mean, you have shards, so that's one way to do it because you picked it up from Roshan. Brile. Oh, with Palos. He gets off his BKB as the life break lands, forced to fight into Brile. Gets off the Solar Guardian, which is also stolen by Ari. I'll get Shanks on the left hand side. I think Execration fortunate there as well. Bob was out of remnants and he managed to just to get into the tree line to TP away. But now you're down a Tusk. He's you know, delayed on the Aghanim Scepter that you really wanted. And Solar Guardian in the hands of Rubik. That, that's no joke. That's, that's the kind of spell Huskar thrives. <laughs> Guardian Greaves, Glimmer Cape, Solar Crest, Aphotic Shield. They can throw everything on this Huskar. Lifesteal from Vlad's aura. Look at him go. Yeah, just frontline the tier fours. Roshan is... On Luna. Uh, Roshan is up in 40 seconds, but we might see this game end before anyone gets near it. You said Ags on Luna. Okay. Ion Cannon ready. Let's see if he can strike it into the hearts of TSM's lines here. Because they've got to defend their throne. Ancient's in trouble. Bird's getting picked off. Shanks is in, but Bryle, hey, he doesn't really care about a little old Tusk coming in. Now they roar up Palos. The Solar Guardian, where is it? Let's wait for it to come as the Remnant is into the back. The Snowball, now the Guardian comes. Tino in trouble, though, as Timado shreds through him. The double kill for the Abaddon and the dive into Fountain. Bryle sets up for a kill on Palos, and that's got to be game now. Shanks is dead. The throne is about to explode, and TSM, they're going to tie things up. One to one in this best of two. Of course, it's a 1-1 one, one in the end. These are best of twos we're talking about. Uh, TSM, we did mention that they have like better draft in this game, even though this was like execration.